Hi guys, it's Michelle. Today I'm going to be showing you another one of my guest bathrooms and the makeover that I did. So this is what it looks like before. Um, so I'm going to show you and take you through everything that I did to transform it. So guys, if you like DIYs, decorating, or you're trying to turn your house into a home, go ahead and click the subscribe button so you don't miss out because that's what this channel is all about. So I'm going to start off here by taking off the current hardware, the, the tissue holder, because I'm actually going to be painting um, this cabinet. So a good way, a budget friendly way of updating a cabinet is just going, going ahead and just painting it versus replacing it um, because you're going to spend a lot more on replacing it versus just spending about seven to eight dollars on uh, basically a bottle of paint and this paint is in the color elephant and I did get it from Walmart I started off with a color called sil silver lining, but I didn't like how light it was So I ended up with elephant as the final look so you can see that this is a darker gray all of the hardware Is from Amazon and I will have it listed below um, I'm going for gray white and this aqua color and a touch of gold everywhere um, I still have a few more things to change out like the faucet and the light fixture um, I already have those purchased but I just haven't changed them out yet so when I do I will come back and show because once I get the entire house um, completed and if you didn't know I bought a new house and I'm making it over room by room so when I get done with the entire first floor I am going to do a tour of the whole first floor and when I finish the second floor same thing and then of course the, the whole house after that so what I'm doing here is I'm just lining up the holes so that I can install the handles and I love this color against the gold it came out really really pretty my first time using a peel and stick backsplash but I love this glossy um, gray subway tile because it does complement um, the same color that I put on the cabinet and this was really easy to do you can cut it with scissors a paper cutter or you can use a box cutter and um, to me, it's a little bit on the pricey side because you can get four pieces for $25. So that's around, you know, it's, it's like over five, six dollars a piece. But because I didn't need a lot of it, um, I'm OK with it. And I I'm the kind of person that loves to change up a lot and using a real tile with, you know, the grout and all that. You would literally have to remove the drywall to put on a different type of tile so with this this is way more forgiving I could peel this back off and then do a different one if I wanted to so I did get this from Home Depot and if this is not your style they do have a lot of other options um, probably best to like go in the store and look at them in person um, to see how you feel about it but I absolutely love it um, I'm still trying to decide if I should put it de um, down the left side of the wall. Um, let me know, do you think I should put it down the left side or just leave it as is? Because um, I don't want to look too busy, but yeah, let me know if you think I should put it down the left side as well. Um, this is my paper cutter that I used to cut that last piece because I did want that last piece to be perfect because that is the piece that would be seen, you know, at all times. The piece that went in the corner doesn't really matter as much, but this piece right here, I wanted it to be really straight. So I used the paper cutter and it worked out great. And I love the way this looks. I love it. I love it. And you can't really tell that it's not a real tile. The only way you would know is because it's not as thick as a real tile, which for me is a good thing. So let me show you what it looked like before again. That way you remember kind of, you know, what the mirror looked like and there were no shelves in here. There was no backsplash. Um, so you can kind of see the transformation. Okay guys, this is it. 
I absolutely love it. Gray, aqua, white, and gold. I love it. Look at the cabinet. Look how different it looks. It just looks more classy, upscale. I love the way the backsplash complements the cabinet color. I am going to change that faucet, but in due time, I will. The mirror looks amazing. Um, over there, I did put in the shelves. I have the Bergamot Waters in here. That is by Bath & Body Works. It smells amazing. This tissue cover, tissue box cover is from Target, but I did spray paint it gold because it was silver. Put a couple of washcloths next to it. I put this decorative orb on the top because I did want to uh, complement the shelves with more gold so that I move all the colors around the entire room. The ginger jar is from Home Goods. It was $29.99. The flowers are from Michaels. So over here again by the sink, like I was telling you, that faucet is going to change. I have a gold one that I picked up from Lowe's. I just haven't installed it yet. That beautiful vase is from Ross. It was $19.99. The flowers from Michaels. And I've had both of those for a while now, since I was in my other house. The mirror is from Lowe's as well. It was already in the house when I, it was in the downstairs bathroom when I moved in here and I decided that it fit better up here. And I do have sun ripened raspberry as my uh, wallflower and it has this room smelling amazing. That metal wall leaf, that is from World Market, and I think it was $15. But I did find the mirror. The mirror is from Lowe's, and it's $109. But like I said, it was in the house when I moved in. It was just downstairs in the wrong place. <laughs> so over here, I did do my curtains and the shower curtain combination. This is not a bathroom that's used very often, so I can have it hang down like this. And I do love the look of this, this beautiful curtain. This is by DKNY, and I did find it at Home Goods. And the pair, I believe, was either $19.99 or $29.99, and it is 96 inches tall. 96 inches. And I do have a shower curtain and a shower curtain liner behind it. Now, if I have guests here, I can tie it back. I do not like these tassels with it because I feel like the gray is a little bit too dark. So I, I want to find some tassels with a softer gray. And once I do that, it'll be perfect. So it'll be fun looking for those. And if you've seen some light gray tassels somewhere, let me know in the comments, please, because I need to put in an order. This beautiful picture is from Home Goods. You cannot see how beautiful it is. The camera cannot pick it up. I've tried so many different ways to film this, but it's, it's absolutely beautiful in person. So just giving you another overview of the entire room, get a better look at that, that subway tile. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you liked about the room or if you just want to just say hello i'll be glad to hear from all of you thank you so much for all of your wonderful comments and uh, i just enjoy reading all the comments sometimes i don't get to respond but i am reading all of them guys take care and i'll see you in the next one hello everyone it's michelle today i am continuing on with my home makeover series for 2023. This is my second guest bathroom that I'm going to show you what I've done just to give you some bathroom decorating ideas and take you along the way with me. So first I'm gonna go over here near the vanity area and kind of show you what I did. The first thing I did was to paint this vanity. The color of the vanity is elephant gray and it is from Walmart. It is a chalk paint that they sell. Hi guys. Um, the other thing I did over here was to put in some nice decorative towels. Um, just a few ideas. You know, you could put in some artwork. You can change out um, your light fixture above 
um, above the vanity area and I'll show you that in a minute. I love this decorative towel and what it says, with God all things are poss possible, Matthew 19, 26. Absolutely love putting in some type of decorative towel because it just makes the area look more interesting. So again to the light fixture, this light fixture here is from Amazon. If you have a dated light fixture, you can get really affordable um, light fixtures from Amazon. The, the mirror that is from Kirkland's, the vase is from Ross and it was only like $20. I've had that for a while. Now let's go over here with the shelves above the toilet. Um, I love putting shelves above the toilet because it gives me the opportunity to display some decor and decor is what gives the room really its identity the decor and the artwork so i absolutely love this piece of art because the colors in this room are, are blue white and gray so it was blue white gray and gold and this has all the colors that i wanted to bring out Over here at the shower curtain, I did what I do on in all of my bathrooms, and I've shown this in several videos before. I do uh, some curtains, and then I put a shower curtain behind it so that it's still functional. These tie backs are from Amazon, and if, if you see anything in the video that you have a question about, definitely let me know in the comments. And guys, if you like home decor or decorating, or if you're just trying to redo your bathroom or turn your house into a home, go ahead and click the subscribe button so you don't miss out because that's what this channel is all about. And I am doing a total home makeover for 2023. So here on the other side, I have that same wall art. Those pieces are from Ross. Um, and I also have um, these decorative towels over here that I absolutely love. Um, these are also from Ross. And everything in here was pretty affordable there wasn't anything that was like you know really pricey or anything like that and I love the way it all came out it's just beautiful um, a lot of what I, I got this right here from Beals outlet um, I did not know about Beals outlet until recently um, let me know in the comments if there's a Beals outlet in your area I don't know if that's just local to here um, but they, that's like a little gym. They have some good stuff. Um, yeah, that's the linen closet over there. I'm going to show you how I organize that at the end of the video. So definitely hold tight for that. Let me take you back around the bathroom one more time. I absolutely love how fresh this is for the springtime. I'm going to leave it like this for a little while. Okay guys, so let's get into the linen closet organization. This is the linen closet on the other side of the room. So I tried to think of everything that a guest would need if they stayed with me because this particular linen closet is right next to a guest room. So I put in this hamper for the towels so that once they use the towels, they can just drop it in there. I have um, this makeup organizer that I got from Ross a while ago. But that's why I put some cotton balls, Q-tips, and cotton swabs. Um, <clears throat> and then at this part that goes on the top, I'm also going to organize some room sprays and things like that. Um, the bins that you're seeing, the ones that look like marble, they are from Home Goods, And I've had those for a while. So I'm also going to put some Band-Aids in there. A couple things that, I, that people have asked me for when they uh, stay with me. These are some extra hand soaps. Th those are both from Bath and Body Works. Some alcohol, some rubbing alcohol, re regular alcohol. And then um, these bins are gonna hold the bath towels. And I'm only putting three sets because I don't think anybody have has stayed here over like the length of a weekend and needing more than three towels. So 
If so, I could always just add more if they need more towels. So I added some hand towels and some washcloths in that one. And if you watched my last um, video, you know that I, I, al I always put in um, a couple of little decor pieces um, when I organize a space just to make it look more interesting. So I put in that live your best um, and the, um, the reed diffuser because that makes the, the linen closet smell really good when you open it up. And I put some bath bombs and some soaps in the one up there. And then I'm going in with, you know, the extra toothpaste and toothbrushes, razors, um, powder and things like that. Thanks for joining me on the video today. I hope I provided some ideas and some inspiration for possibly your bathroom makeover. Guys, if you didn't see my last bathroom makeover video, I will have it linked down below. And definitely subscribe because I will be doing a full house makeover for 2023. So guys, again, thank you for watching the video and I will see you in the next one. Hello everyone, it's Michelle. Welcome to Design Fun. Today, I'm going to be showing you around my small guest bathroom. I get a lot of questions about how to decorate a small bathroom. And so this particular time, I went with a modern design style. I've always wanted to try it. And this time I did. So I'm going to take you around in the bathroom in a second. But guys, if you like home decor, decorating, or if you just want to turn your house into a home, go ahead and click the subscribe button so you don't miss out. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and jump on into the video. Okay, so this is the bathroom that I'm going to be making over. This is upstairs. I basically already took everything out of here. Um, so this is the before picture. I mean, this is the before video. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take that out too. It is at night. So this is just a typical, you know, bathroom that most everybody has. This floor I did myself. Yep, I put that in myself. Um, I gotta do a lot of cleaning, then I'm gonna redo it. Now over here, I DIY the shelves with the uh, piece of wood from Home Depot and the uh, brackets. Um, I need to touch up the paint on that. Over here, I am going to change it up a bit. I have something I'm gonna put on that wall over there. Behind the door is the linen closet. I'm also gonna change that hook and Let's just go ahead and show you the reveal. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I went with a modern design in this case. Wanted to try it for a while and I finally did. And um, I actually like it. So let me show you what I've done. Let's go on into the bathroom. So first I went in with this beautiful um shower curtain and it's a very modern design it's got green black and then the gold so that's basically the color scheme for this entire bathroom so i'm going to show you i'll show you over here first over here above the toilet 
you know, I put in these two shelves a while ago. And um, take you over here and see what I did. I basically kept it very simple because, you know, you guys know with the modern design, um, it's, it's somewhat of a minimalistic design. There's not a lot uh, that goes into it. There's a lot of straight lines, um, you know, simple colors and things like that. So I went with black and white here. This lady here is from, uh, I believe I got that at Ross a while ago. This is from Ross. Smells good. Mahogany and leather. These right here are from Ross, the two pack. Can't remember how much it was. I think it was $10. This piece right here, which is really cute. Um, I'm just gonna throw black rocks in it. It's from Home Goods. This is from Home Goods. These two here came in a six pack. Uh, I think that's from Ross, and I just have green washcloths here. So that's the way that looks. Came out pretty good. And I could put some toilet paper right here if I wanted to, but I don't want to because there's a linen closet in this bathroom. All right, let's go over here. This is the cabinet that I painted a while ago. This is, the color is elephant gray. Um, elephant gray, it is from Walmart. It is a chalk paint. The handles are from Amazon. Up here on the sink, what did I do? I kept it simple as well. I went with this soap dispenser and something for some cotton balls on this little tray. This whole thing came from Ross. Over here, that little hello sign and that hello sign came from Burlington. Over here, I got this paper towel dispenser here. Because as you can see, there's not a lot of space. So if you have a small sink like this, this is a good option. Or if you want everybody using a, a hand towel, use that. Um, but this is this is from Amazon. And you just install it on the wall and just pull the paper towels at the bottom. These I changed a while ago. Those are from Amazon. Um, this is a wallflower, I believe. It's, um, I don't know, I have to insert the name of that. It's, um, it's by Bath & Body Works though. It's Kiwi something another. <laughs> and um, hey everybody, this mirror here, this mirror is from Kirkland's. I've had that for a while. And I left the mirror because it kind of has a modern design because it's got these lines like in the picture and in the shower curtain. That is the light fixture, very clean, simple. So that light fixture is from Amazon. That right there, I believe I got that from Lowe's. Um, black trash can. Let me show you this side of the room. So on this side, there's only space for a set of towels. And I kept it very simple because like I say, in the modern design, you don't really, you just keep things kind of pared down and minimalistic. And so that's what I did with these towels. And above the towels, I have this sign here that says, wash your hands, brush your teeth, and comb your hair. This is from Burlington. This is from Burlington, and I think it was $10 for that. Okay, so behind the door, let me take this down. I put this over the door hook right here. And this is good for if you have a guest and they need to hang their towel, they need to hang their clothes, like if they're getting dressed in the bathroom or they need to hang their robe, that makes it more convenient because I think there's like six or seven hooks on there. So guys, I love the way the bathroom came out. I'll show you around here one more time. Oh yeah, and I did get that hook from Burlington. I got that from Burlington and I believe it was like $7.99. That's from Amazon. I'll put the link below or let me know if you want the link and I'll definitely put it in the description. So this is just another look that shower curtain is also from Amazon. So all of this was put together on a very small budget and so 
it's really easy to do if you just put your mind to it there's a lot of diys in this bathroom as well but i'll talk about that on another video thanks for watching the video guys and i will see you in the next one